previously on Balls. She's on a she's on a massive book tour. Um, you might remember she was once known as the uh, personal assistant to former President Nelson Mandela, but now these days she is well known and famous for um, being our number one author in the country. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to be the number one biker, not the yeah, one, <laughs> <laughs> one author. Well, that too. Zelda yes. Legrandi, uh-huh. PGA Clap. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Lekker om jou hier te sien. Baie dankie, dit is die eerste keer dat jy my hier na toe invite. Nee, 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 nee. Selde, ek dink aan jou baie, ek beloof, en ek wil, dit is vir ons een groot voorrecht, baie dankie. Thank you. Luckily we're visual radio, so we are putting subtitles when Johnny speaks Afrikaans. Oh, that's rich from you. Can I also see those? Can I also see those? Thank you, sir. How's it going? Very well, very, very well, thanks. Busy at the moment. Very busy, just returned from Bikers for Mandela Day this year, so busy with a book. Leaving for New York for a book tour on Saturday. So, yeah, very busy. <laughs> now, come on, Zelda. When you're in New York, not only book tour, tell us about these people that you meet and go and have coffee with and catch up with when you're overseas. Clearly, you New haven't York. read the book. <laughs> I have. I told you before, I, I haven't had a chance to read I the book. I'm as busy as you. I deal with all of that in the book. Okay. Well, give us a little sneak preview. Are you going to catch up with Bono while you're there? No, he's not there at the moment. No. You know, I still haven't forgiven you for that. For what? For not meeting Bono. No. For what? Oh, for John meeting Bono. <laughs> oh, you met him oh, as well. No, no, no. You spoke to him over the, uh, on yes, the phone. Yeah. Zelda, oh, on you the were radio. both. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's uh, Zelda, right. You you've were got both such a good memory. Zelda would know. Now you said he's met me. Zelda knows that he didn't. Have meet you met Bono? But John? she remembered that she organised the interview. No, no, we were at the other radio station up no, the road when you two were coming way. here. Yeah. Yeah. Zelda set up the interview. Yeah. Mm. Uh, exactly. And I, I've always wanted to find out the background to how that interview came about because Johnny was doing graveyard shift on a Sunday morning, one midnight to six. Now this is when two thousand and something. And the, yes. Uh, ten years later, we hear you two are coming out to South Africa. Oh, that's nice. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get interview with Bono? And uh, Mr. Walland over here has popped. Oh no, I've interviewed him before. Uh. <laughs> so we will look at him going, no, it wasn't Sonny Bono, it's Bono, the uh, singer from U2. Yes, I've interviewed him before, and then he told us the story. At 10 past midnight, he did a 10-minute interview, and he still had it. We played it the next day. Oh, yeah, uh, because I was going to say, I hope he syndicated it to you. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so. And, uh, and, and uh, yeah, so I was like, how did you come about getting an interview at 10 past midnight? So clearly you guys are on the way back from a function or something. I can't actually and remember. And we're listening to know, John I, on radio. That's the thing. I, I, I can't really remember, but I, I, I vaguely remember that I organized mm. it for him. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Anyway. He never probably forgiven threatened me or something. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> never forgiven you for that, so. I'm sorry. Why are we going to eerste praat? Bikers? Yeah, I can't praat with bikers, want you're not net klaar with bikers. Is it not clear on the 18th? Normal, eh? No, usually, you know, before all the first two years, um, we, we did a trip <coughs> over seven, six, seven days, but we've shortened it, you know, the overheads, it just becomes too expensive to be on the road for seven days, and um, we achieve exactly the same, we visit mm. charity projects, four over, we did four over three days, did the 1,200 kilometers, um, got good exposure for the sponsors, so we've done what we wanted to mm. um, to do. Yeah, so it's it's been good. It's really I was overwhelmed in Bloemfontein and Kimberley by the amount of bikers that showed up to support us at the projects. It was just overwhelming completely. Mm. Cheetah supporters were overwhelmed in Bloemfontein as well this weekend. Yeah, I heard so. Yeah, lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I was I was uh, keeping one eye on <laughs> on, on the. I actually thought of you. I must say, sharks. I know. I say I was getting there. <laughs> so getting there. <laughs> Um, no, let, well, let's just carry on with, uh, with the bikers from Mandela one because you say uh, overheads are. I would, ima- I would have thought that there would be s- uh, people queuing up to, uh, to, to like get behind it and stuff. I mean, they do, but you have to keep in mind that what you spend on overheads needs to be remain less than what you give to charity. Mm. Otherwise, you know, it's not worth the effort <laughs> and it, it, it um, defeats the purpose, really. So um, we get sponsors to help with the support team because the more celebrities and the bigger the team, the more support team people you need to mm. control all these egos and people. Mm. <laughs> not really. They're all great, but um, it just costs a lot of money. So so we do have sponsors. And then also to, to you, you don't want to... Um, 
dilute the brand. So you want one sponsor to come in um, to get the maximum exposure, really, for 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 um, what mm. they do. And they've given great money to also uh, to to the charitable projects that mm. we visited, and so it worked out well. All right, yeah. and you actually get um, get involved like on the ground, knees dirty, everything. That's with, it. With uh, that's the whole idea. We stop at these projects and we do our sixty-seven minutes at each project. Mm -hmm. You know, we paint and we make do a garden and we pack rape survival after care packs and um yeah we do hard labor because <laughs> <laughs> so how many years now this was the fifth fifth year the wow. fifth year yeah it's yeah. amazing so i remember that home in belfast uh, when yes. I th that we did together huh? yes that that's right that's right yeah yeah, yeah. we painted and we all got uh, covered in paint but uh, rick was with me rick and i painted a wall yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just so every the faces of those people there they just couldn't believe they transformed that place in a couple of hours eh? mm -hmm. well Zelda just yeah. a thought for next year because Johnny's always pleading poverty maybe you could go paint his house yeah <laughs> we're Michael actually considering Mandela. doing individuals what's he you know what's you I, I don't I haven't spoken to him in oh years please, but poverty but like you know what our believe. focus now is on, on women's abuse issues so oh is yeah he, you can also pop in there as well is yeah. A yeah you can yeah. stop in there too <laughs> I think it might you be the other way around, actually. <laughs> we, need to speak, we need to speak to his wife. Does he need a vegetable garden, Bad. I don't think he's got space in his garden for a vegetable garden because he's planted so many trees. You know, Darren, mm. they say you'll sell your house now based on a vegetable garden, on the actual... Uh, oh, really? Yes, everyone, yes. rather than a pool. They call it actually on the uh, uh, economic news, you yes. get the vegetable garden index mm. on housing properties. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They gave me carrots when I asked them for that last time. <laughs> they couldn't tell me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> All right, so and you'll carry on doing this uh, as long as you can ride a bike, as long which is going to be the rest of your life. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. This is my commitment to Mandela Day, and you know, this is the way Madiba taught me. Mm. Um, so it works. I, I love doing the community, the grassroots level work, really. I'm not interested in philanthropy and networking and so on. So I'll really continue doing this every year to pay tribute to him. Mm. Absolutely. And, and you, sorry, Darren, but do you guys follow up on the people that you've helped? Uh, do you keep in touch with them? Yeah, we do. Through, um, I'm the patron for the First for Women Foundation, and they've been the sponsors now of this um, of this trip, and they are also the foundation that gives the money to the charity. So they keep in touch with them because they've got the infrastructure to do so, and they'll follow up to see, you know, where where the money is being spent and what they do, and so on. So yeah, it, it, this model works actually it works quite well. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, I mean, is it an all-year-round thing? I know you do the trip every sort of round Man Madiba day. But That's right. Is it, do you do other things during the rest of the year? You know what? We try and, and do something around um, the 16 days of activism against abuse. Mm. Um, so we'll probably get together with the bikers, get them together again and combine the two again over, the, over that period in November. Mm. How long have you been riding a bike now? I think about Did you two start together? Yes. No. Uh, and I went to Paris with Zelda. Yeah, and years ago. you remember that with yeah. Laurie, Johnny, with the you late said you'd never K. talk about that. Yeah. No, <laughs> not, not, not Paris, near near Paris. The, the one in the freeze Yeah, the one yeah. in the free state, yes. <laughs> and, and Zelda had an 800 BM at that stage, but I think she's now got the R1200 liquid cool adventure. Yes, it's I a, do. I which do. is a beaut of a bike. And yeah. uh, I admire Zelda because that is a pure. You've and got to ride well to handle And that. you guys are very, very staunch and 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 uh, and, and and loyal and like uh, possessive over your bike brands. Oh yes, we are. I couldn't yeah, believe yeah, yeah. the one that we were out at uh, at Dozy's place. Yes, yes. And you guys were there, and the Harley guys were sitting in front, and there was like this. It's a rivalry. There was like this ever, yeah. dripping tension between the two. Oh yeah, groups. absolutely. <laughs> and you know what was so interesting about the the bikers from Mandela Day now, um, Darren, was that at the projects, everyone everyone works together. Do, you know, regardless of the brand of bike you drive and the clubs and everyone mm -hmm. and we were actually joking to say it's fine now you know we're all working on the garden and and mm. planting trees and painting and five o'clock this afternoon <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I once drove a fat boy and sorry uh, uh, yes and I and everybody you stared question, stared at me and yeah. they sort of said you know what's this so I said it's a fat boy don't even go this time yeah and um, so that's how, that's how pedantic and, and the way people are. Then oh I yeah. got back on my BMW off the fat boy, and it mm. was a, a, a total different feeling. Do not ask mm. him how he gets on a fat no, boy. No, no, I was going to ask yeah. him, did you spray its top box? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. My last one was sprayed. But Because okay. uh, you've had your top box sprayed as well, eh, Yes, I have had it done, yes. I <laughs> but, I mean, that's you, like you said, it's chalk and cheese. I mean, that's yeah. a yeah, different no, 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 bike yeah, altogether. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We just started a new biking feature here on the show. On the show. It's all that can be coming every one, week, eh? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I was going to ask you, so obviously Madiba knew about your biking fetish. And mm. uh, did he ever ride with you? No, he didn't. Did um, you ever ask when him I, when, I, when I went on the first course, the training course, years and years ago, I don't even remember what year it was, uh, my colleague Marietta said to him, I'm not in the office that day because I'm in, on a training course. And he said, what training? And he, she said, um, a motorbike training course. And he said, a motorbike training course? Does she have a motorbike? And Marietta said, yes, she does. And he said, why does she need a motorbike? I thought she had a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I did so used to ride bike. No, he didn't. At oh. first he didn't. And then um, after the, the 2010 bikers, the inaugural bikers mm. trip, um, when I got home, I said to him, Kulu, I, we went to Cape Town with motorbikes and I showed him the footage and the photos and, said, and he said, why did you do that? And I said, we did it all for you. <laughs> so um, he was very taken. He said, do you mean you drove all the way to Cape Town on a motorbike? I said, yes, we did. So, um, yeah. He, <laughs> Sit there and shake his head. Yeah, no, no. He, he, he couldn't comprehend really <laughs> why. Yeah. Well, it's um, and, and how you how you doing? I know it's all six months, nearly seven months. It's later been now. seven months. Seven months. Yeah. Now. How you doing? All right. Yeah, I've got my ups and downs. You mm. know, this weekend was a particularly emotional time when we went to the statue in Bloemfontein to to um, put flowers down. So you know, that just opens up everything. So hopefully, I'll get through this interview without crying. Everyone that reads the book will tell you there's just a lot of crying, but I'm getting therapy for that. But um, <laughs> uh, it's 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 emotional. It's very difficult to deal with something. I've never lost anyone close to me. Mm. I've spent more time with Madiba than most people will spend with their children, mm. bringing up their children. It's 19 years day well of the 19 years, 16 years day in day out. So yeah. it's a huge loss to me. It's a personal, you know. It's a it's a it's a uh, uh, how do you say it? It's um, like there's a void. A void. Yes. There's a void in my life now, and I have to. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I think, "Is he really gone?" Mm. You know, you go through this process. Oh. It's difficult. Yeah, um, and uh, and obviously a lot of, as you say, a lot of that's in the, in in the book. Um, how difficult was it to write it? You know what, Darren? When I started in 2009, I didn't start writing with intention that there would be a book mm. i just offloaded my memory basically because i was i was noticing that i was forgetting stuff i'm getting old now as well so i just downloaded my memory it was over five hundred thousand words then oh. it's not a book it's an encyclopedia manuscript yeah. yeah it's those people that ring the <laughs> doorbell and say do you want to buy <laughs> these seven books? book yeah <laughs> And um, so only last year, mid last year, did a friend of mine take it and she edited a bit and she said, no, there's really a story here you need to tell. Mm. Um, and uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a, a learning curve and a process. The book itself, I've learned so much from, from, the, from writing the book and now reading the book. I still learn every day. So it's been really one hell of an experience. Mm. Um, and and uh, how many have sold now? I know, I know it's number one on the list. It was like on the next second day or that day or something. It, yeah, uh, four days, I, I, I believe. Um, I was out of the country, so I don't really <laughs> know. But they're in the second print. The second print is actually on the shelves today. So And it's worldwide. Um, it's available worldwide It's worldwide, now. yeah. Mm. It's worldwide. Um, so it's Penguin International. So yeah. mm. that's a huge, and big boost. Hence you, hence you traveling and doing... Uh, Doing a lot of book interviews and stuff. Yes, I've been to um, London and France. France was actually the first after South Africa because of my French heritage. You know, they grabbed the opportunity. Le they lo they <laughs> loved it, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, France and England, and then I'm going to the US and Canada on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so that's what I can manage now. I have to be home for Mandela Day, and after that I'll focus on the book again. Doing, yeah, to doing a lot of talk shows in the States. Yes, yes, quite a few, yeah. Okay. yeah. I actually, I, I got the email of the, of the schedule today. I haven't even opened it. It's just been too busy. Are you going on Ellen? I don't know. I hope so, actually. Um, I can see you dancing in the aisle there with Ellen. Yeah, I'm not sure about She's that. She's going to come down the stairs on a bike. <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah. Ellen you want to come down the stairs on your bike. Yeah, She's never yeah, had yeah. that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it must be exhausting to, to talk about it all the time. And everybody wants to, everybody like us, we're hearing it for the first time. You know what, Simon? Ask a recording artist. I've got n a newfound respect for people, for recording for, for an artist. Mm. Because you have to sing that song a million times yeah. before you record it, actually. It's the same with writers. I, I, I cannot stand my looking at my book. <laughs> I've probably read it about 17 times. The legal read of, of something like this was so exhausting because you have to go through every line and you have to have either a witness or proof of what you're saying. You can't write a book and just slander and, and defame people and so on. So you have to be able to prove everything. Mm. It's very, very hard work. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, so I say to people, if, you, if you've got a choice between having children and writing books, have triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. yeah. And are some people not talking to you now? I'm sure. <laughs> what a happy life. <laughs> yeah, well, there um, we go. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm sure. You know, you, you can never, it's something I've, I've learned from Adiba. Yeah. You, you will never, ever do something that will please everyone. Mm. Um, you have to live with yourself after doing something like this, this, after writing a book. I have to be happy with the content of the book. And I think um, I've protected the confidentiality with him. And that was, my pur that was the purpose, really, mm. um, of the book. So, I, I mean, you, you were sort of, working on not as much not every day but you were still um going to see him while he was still with us and but obviously on a less and less scale it wasn't every day of the week um and slowly kind of and i know we chatted a few times about you know sort of as you say it's almost like being in a a full-time marriage mm -hmm. um you know when 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 you're with someone for such a long time um and it was difficult suddenly when you got to start looking at other things in life as well and, and what you're going to do uh, have you managed to sort of now settle on something else and what are you doing with yourself now you know you you feel like you lose purpose when mm. you when you uh, i mean i'm, a, I'm still a part-time employee of the um employee of the nelson mandela foundation but si since 20 was it 2012 um it was no, no longer a full-time job so mm. you you i mean you feel lost um right now i don't know th this is this is what i said earlier the the book has actually taught me so many other things as well i now know that i'm i will be a, at any I will be at the right place uh, at the right place. You going to Japan? No, no, no. <laughs> oh. I'll be at the right place in at any given point in time. Mm. Life will take you where you're supposed to to be. The book is keeping me very busy now. Um, so when that is done, maybe uh, people laugh at me, but maybe I want to sell flowers for the rest of my life. Just nothing to do. I, d I don't want any stress. I don't want any pressure ever, ever again mm. in my mm. life. <laughs> Well, we wish we wish only the best for you. We wish whatever you want, Zelda. You're an awesome person, and uh, we appreciate you taking time to come and visit us here. Thank you so much, and good luck to you. And you know, um, I'll, I'll we'll be on Twitter talking about the Sharks versus Province. Oh, they're playing again. <laughs> I thought I know they are. Curry Cup coming up. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, that. Mm. Yes. Oh please, please, please. No, I'm Thanks. a Province supporter. I'm a Province supporter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. I'm gonna show you. A, I'm gonna show you. So Zelda, I've got a. I've got. An, I've a screenshot of an avatar of her in Sharks. <laughs> sharks kit. How drunk were you? No, just Very Curry Cup final. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer. Thanks very much, guys. I appreciate oh, really having you. Thank you very much. Thanks Zelda. for popping so in. I'll look after yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye. Zala Lakranji joining us on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon, having a chat about uh, Bikers for Mandela and also the uh, the book, which is selling like hotcakes. Balls.co.za